Okay, Batman, Toy Fair exclusive, 112 Collective Mezco, Ascending Night, take one. Boop. Talking to her, right? And then I'm like, hey, would you like to see my bat? Boop. Harvey, I'm Batman. Boop. Where are the other action figures going? Boop. I'm Batman. Don't do drugs. Was that good? Boop. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below. We want to give a shout out to the Lair, LairOnline.net. A shout out to Geekstronomy, Geekstronomy.com. A shout out to Mezco for giving us this awesome action figure at Toy Fair. I'm Rob Banks. This is the Red Cup Review. Here is the Ascending Knight Batman figure. We're going to do a quick little whip around. We're going to try something a little bit differently with the lighting today because it looks like the detail is coming out a little bit better, at least on my end, with only the single light on. Put the other light on, kind of drowns out a little bit of the detail. So let's take a quick little look inside the outfit. Nice amount of detail in the belt and in the boots, which is going to come out more. And yes, that shiny shimmery effect is there, especially when in direct light. There's the bat symbol, the cowl, the head sculpt is great. He's got a lot of nice, cool neck muscles and the ear, pointy ears are great. And the cape, let's zoom out real quick. Come on, zoom out, there we go. All right, the cape, nice pleathery type material. Okay, and you know what, let's throw the other light on for this. All right, so the cape's got the pleathery material, got a different material on the inside. You could take the cape, put it over his shoulders like such, and have him kind of like hiding in the shadows wise. That's really cool looking as well. What you want to do is you want to take the cape and pinch it here on this fold, bring it over his shoulder, pinch here, bring it over to give him that ready for battle look. Okay, so the belt. Let's put his arms up. Put your arms up. All right, the belt moves all around. Oh, look, he's high-waisted. That's the reason why is you kind of bring it down. So now he looks like he's wearing regular pants. This pleathery material goes up and wraps up over the shoulder, which is nice because underneath here, you're not going to get it. You got the more spandexy type material, so when you bend and twirl around, even though you'll have a little bit of a, a wrinkle there, if you could see, there you go. Okay, it's not going to wrinkle the pleather itself, which is nice. You don't have the same luck with the pants because they come on this side, but again, in the middle, the pleathery material disappears down here, so you're not going to get any creases between his legs, but when you do pull them up, like such. The, actually, the wrinkling is rather minimal. So that's pretty neat. And once again, like all the other toys, when you put the, the legs up and you do see it start to wrinkle, just take the material and kind of massage it down and pull it out of the seams like that and you'll be just fine. The knees are double jointed. He's got his knee pads. They line up pretty good. The ankle rockers. Ankles go in. Look at that. They are listening. They have heard our calls, and now the ankles face in, so when you put them straight down, like that, I don't have the stand ready, but his ankles, his feet do sit pretty much flat against the floor on this figure, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's take a look at his gauntlets. Batman's gauntlets only have the two spikes on them. As a matter of fact, you have to rotate the arm out a little bit, the material, in order to get the gauntlets to sit properly where they're supposed to. Unless that's where they're supposed to sit. Uh, but they're pretty much like that on, on either side of the hand. A lot of nice detail in the belt. In the back, he's got a little belt clip here where you could take his back grappling gun and slide it right in there. And it holds the gun very well. And that's it. He's not holding anything else but the grappling gun there. He's not going to be able to hold batarangs or the big bat brick and stuff like that. The ears are nice and pointy. Watch your fingers on those. And that's all I could say as far as the articulation goes. The elbows are dub double jointed. They work really well. You're not going to have to worry about seams and cuffs. You can do it like that. Look at that. You can give him like a boxer's pose. Which is really cool. Like that Michael Keaton like ready boxer's pose like that's dynamite right there this is a dynamite figure man it really surprised me uh, i have the other ones on pre-order but um i'm glad to have this a little earlier to give you guys a first look let's take a look at the alternate head sculpt and another thing i'm really dropping the ball today with this review uh i just don't want to do it over and over again the waist articulation back and forth back and forth 
and when he crunches and you twist them, because they don't have the pleather riding along here, the wrinkle goes onto the spandex, and then when you pop it back into place, the wrinkle is practically gone. So that's really cool. Good idea, Mezco. Thumbs up. So it gets really good articulation going down, coming back. Pretty good. That's not even him standing straight up. It straight up would be like kind of tilted a little bit more forward. We got really good ab articulation and it holds. So the pleather isn't really stiff. So you can get him into some nice, really cool dynamic poses. And he holds. There you go. This head sculpt looks so good on this figure. This is probably the display I'm going to be going with. As a matter of fact, once I put this on, I immediately, immediately thought to myself that, you know what? It would have been really great if Batman would have came with an empty cowl for him to hold in his hand because I, this is how I am going to have my figure set up. Take a look at that. I showed you the head sculpt before. It looks really cool. Really, really good with it. So it works nicely. Let's take a look at some of his hands and how they hold the weapons. Here's Batman holding his accessories. The gun hand, or the grappling gun hand rather, with the attachment in there. Pretty well done. This hand, I was having trouble with getting this accessory to sit in this hand. Because it only has like really one hand for gripping. But I kind of like it the way it works better with this one. Because it almost looks like he's about to pull the trigger. You know, like he's about to release. But it does sit a little loose in there. I mean, if you shake it, it's not going to fall out. But if you knock into it, it will fall. Watch. See? And right out. But it works that way. I like it like that. I thought that hand looked coolest with it. Also, one thing I didn't touch on before was the head uh, articulation. He gets pretty good range of motion back. He gets nice range of movement looking down. Left, right, and a little bit of tilt as well. Oh, what well, popped off, but... It doesn't really pop off that easy. I just kind of put a little bit too much pressure into it than I was supposed to. So there you go. There's Batman holding holding his accessories. Yeah, this figure is cool as heck, man. Look at that. Really dynamite. You guys are going to be really happy when you get the Ascending Knight in your hand. Let me tell you. Right. And here are the accessories. Batman comes with uh, one, two, three, four, five gripping and open hands. And two more for a total of seven with the closed hands. He comes with his nifty little bat grappling hook which has got a nice amount of detail but since this is the all black version i'm sure the other versions if they have um the different colors and stuff uh which uh, i believe the other ascending knight version is going to have like a little bit of a gold deco on there so it'll bring the details out a little bit more up over here you can see a little slide in piece where you actually slide in let's get to the other little accessory the closed version of the bat hook and you would slide it in, I believe, like, like, where is it going? Like so, just like that. And there you go, you got your bat hook. Okay, now this comes out as well. And you can slide in this type of a hook, the open hook, which is another little accessory. Just like that, and you could have it open. And then you have this one as well which is the same as the one you've just seen, except it has a little bit of a rope on it attached to it, and you can slide it in, you can have the rope hanging down, or maybe Batman holding the rope itself. You have the Bat Brick. The Bat Brick is just a really large Batarang with the gripping hands. There's two different color blacks on it. It folds in half like so. And I don't know if it, you could store it on the actual utility belt itself. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but then it opens on the hinge and you could see that up oh, nope it's not lining up that's fine you could just take it maneuver it and do it like that and stays open okay this is the uh i guess batman's uh crossbow grips here little crossbow bolts loaded on the side no they don't come out this is not a real rope it's all one solid piece of plastic but it's a cool little accessory i think it's pretty dynamite that batman would have a crossbow all right Gripping hands for holding things. That's the hand for holding the bat grappling gun. Let's see if we can get it in there. Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna mess with this on camera. I'll do that off camera and come back to it. Then you have uh, a gripping hand for holding batarangs, I believe. Let's take a look at the open hands because you can really get to see some detail on those. Again, with the other decos that have the different colors, you'll be able to see the detail, which there's a ton of it in the hand itself. Come on, there you go. Uh, see if you can catch it right there, right, right with the light. 
and you'll see that with the different colors, I'm sure it'll bring the details out a lot better. Again, this is the exclusive edition. Let's look at the granddaddy of them all, the Bruce Wayne head sculpt. Look at those blue eyes. Oh, blue eyes, except this guy ain't singing you. This guy's beating you down. Uh, he's got a lot of nice detail in the hair, especially on the back and the top back of the hair. There's a lot of nice creases, and the sculpt is excellent. There's no paint bleed. The paint lines are super sharp, especially in the eyebrows and the eyes. He even, if you could take, take a look, you could see that he has the pupils inside of his eyes. So they got the black pupils in there as well. Great paint apps. Now on the front of the hair, like I said before, the back of the hair has a lot of good paint. I uh, paint the, uh, the sculpt. Paint's good too, but on the front, the sculpt could have been a little bit more detailed as if this, the, if the front of the hair was as sculpted as well as the back of the hair, this would have been a, the most ridiculous head sculpt, especially Bruce Wayne head sculpt uh, that I have ever seen. It is the best, but there's a difference between being the best and being untouchable. And this falls just shy of untouchable, but pretty ridiculously great nonetheless. All right, that's it for the accessories. We'll take a look at the Batarangs in a moment. For the wrap-up, we are going to be looking at some of the other things Brucey Boy comes with, and that is this nice all-black stand. There you can see the bat symbol on it. He's got the cape clips. He's got the waist grabber, and he's got the, the thing that the, you know, the cape clips plug into. I've never even used that on, on my stuff. Not only does he come with that, but he's got his 10 little Batarangs that I spoke about earlier. And there's the 10 little Batarangs sitting in the plastic. Uh, it has a plastic piece over it that you have to actually peel off. Be careful, these things will fall out. And there are 10 of them. One more look at Batman. Batman loans himself to a lot of different posing possibilities. I'm Batman. And it's really nice the way to design him and the, the outfit. Let me tell you something. If you got the previews exclusive coming, or if you got the regular version with the gray deco, a lot more of those details are actually going to pop out. It'll add a little bit more color to your shelf. But if you are a completionist and you do like the all-black Batman look, then you must get this figure. I don't even know if it's coming out uh, blurry or not, but whatever. You guys seen it. Hey, look, he only has two little spikes this time around. Uh, and that's Batman. Okay, let's take a look at the box. The... 2018 Toy Fair exclusive has the gold deco and on the back just a single picture and it pops open and the, the card tray slides out. These smaller boxes are going to be con exclusives. Every time you see a small box like this, it is going to be a con exclusive and the previews exclusives are going to be in the tin cans and the regular figures are no longer going to have the magnetic window that pulls out. Oh, and he comes with instructions too. The instructions say it's, in, it's for 18 and up. And uh, let's see, don't uh, play with this around children. There are small pieces... Yes, and uh, the figure could be lost or damaged, and a lot of nonsense that you older collectors already know about. So, Rob Banks saying, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm Batman. We forgot the cups, Gray. We forgot the cups. Oh Gray, we forgot God. the cups. What are you going to do? All right, I'm giving this four, four and a half cups. Again, like I said before, my reviews are a little bit more subjective. And I hope um, Mezco did a good job on that figure, because I sure might not doing it. It was really good. You can't hope they did a good uh, figure. They did do a good figure. They did a great figure. That's it. The figure is really great. You guys are really going to love it. But your vi your mileage may vary subjectively. I'm only giving it four cups. Only four cups. It's almost a perfect score. Yeah, it's uh, almost. All right. Rob Banks and Grayson saying we'll see you on the next episode. See you next on the episode. All right. Right here, buddy. <laughs>